Hello everyone, I am back on NBA 2K23. I'm going to be doing another thoughts and predictions video covering this playoff series against the Philadelphia 76ers and the Boston Celtics. The CPU is set to pro difficulty. The quarter lengths have been lowered from last video from 5 minutes down to 2. And that'll uh, cover everything, so let's get this game started. Okay, so... Uh, the Celtics managed to defeat Atlanta in six games. That's what got them to the second round. And Philly swept Brooklyn for zip in their series. But it came at the cost of uh, Joel Embiid's injury. I believe it's an MCL injury. And his status is currently doubtful for tonight's game. And that's pretty much the biggest question for this series. Is Joel Embiid going to be healthy enough to uh, last uh, possibly in a seven-game series against the Celtics? Uh, right now, I'm currently picking the Celtics to win this series in, let's say, uh, five games. Uh, if, if Joel Embiid is healthy, though, that's the thing. If Joel Embiid is healthy, I'll say Celtics in five. If Joel Embiid is not healthy and he can't uh, last uh, this series, then I'll this. There's no reason the Celtics can't sweep uh, Philly. Oh, I'm trying to. That's not what I was trying to do. Crap. Uh, Philly can't, won't be able to last in this series if James Harden and, uh, Tyrese Maxey are the only, uh, real scorers. I would say Tobias Harris too, but I'm not afraid of Tobias Harris. He's, uh, from the games I do, do remember from the regular season, he, uh, he, he's been too inconsistent. Yeah, he's capable of getting hot from the three-point shot, but... I don't really trust him uh, too much. I take Tyrese Maxey more seriously than uh, Tobias Harris. What? Uh, it's not what I was trying to do. But it worked. We've, someone finally scored. <laughs> The, the little things that I'm worried about in this series, just like with Atlanta, is uh, if, they're Celt if the Celtics take their foot off the gas just because Joel, em Joel Embiid is uh, not playing. Because that came back to bite them in the Atlanta series when they were up 3-1. Uh, to one. They, uh, they stopped fighting for second chance points. They... Uh, they let, let Atlanta take advantage of them from the three-point shot, and that's why the Celt that series went six games. When on, in all honesty, the Celtics should have swept Atlanta. They were just the better team since game one. and But thankfully, that series is over. We can now move on to Philly. Philly, unfortunately, had a lot more time to rest up everyone since the Celtics failed to close the series out in five so there's a there's a lot of little things to be worried about I'm not worried big picture wise in this series the the Celtics should take care of Philly uh, with minimal issues no matter if Embiid is there or not if Embiid decides to play game one with this uh, injury how is he going to look is he going to be able to handle Posting up people getting into the paint or is he going to be stuck behind the three-point line shooting uh, brick after brick because I'm not afraid for uh, I'm not afraid of Embiid shooting uh, three-point shots The only way I had I see a uh, Philly Taking a game is if Embiid puts them on their back, just like in the uh, regular season game in April, scoring 52 points. That's the only way I see Philly taking a game in this series. 
And even then, on that game in April, uh, Philly let the Celtics back in uh, uh, when there was like a minute left in the game. Unfortunately, I forgot who took the last shot in that April game, but they uh, they missed. And, uh, of course, Philly got their uh, only win in the regular season series. Come on. Philly's bench doesn't even compare to the Celtics bench. That's another thing I'm not scared of. Any, I'm not scared of any of their bench players. Wait, get the shot off. Half court? Not even close. Air mailed that. It'd be nice to see another half court shot just like a, in the Atlanta series. And uh, another thing, as for the Celtics in this series, uh, the health of Robert Williams is going to be important. Wow. If uh, Robert Williams can stay healthy in this series, I, I think he'll be a... Uh, wow, that was an awful shot. I think Robert Williams will be capable of uh, s at least slowing down Embiid. You're not going to stop him completely. The, the way he's been playing this year, you're not going to stop him. You'll... Hopefully, uh, Robert Williams will at least slow him down, so he uh, makes it less like it likely he scores uh, another 52 points. Oh wow, my defense! Uh, I'm. <laughs> You're not getting any pro gameplay here, in case you couldn't tell by now. This is my first NBA 2K game. And boy, does it show. The one series that I'm worried about is actually the next series. If the Celtics uh, manage to do their job against Philly. Right now, if the Celtics win this series, they'll be playing whoever wins uh, the, the Miami Heat series against the Knicks. And right now, I don't... I'm a little worried about both teams, actually, for different reasons. Miami, uh, for obvious reasons, being Jimmy Butler. He was literally one three-pointer away from sending the Celtics home uh, last year. <laughs> I am so thankful he missed that shot to this day, even though the Celtics lost in the finals. But that's a different story. Uh... J uh, Jimmy Butler is going to be looking for revenge if Miami wins that series. Uh, if the Knicks win the series, I'm worried because they play uh, a, p a bit more uh, of a gritty style offense and defense that uh, the Celtics don't really like to play and might overwhelm them. And that, uh, that possible series, which... Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if the Celt if a Celtics and Knicks series go seven games, just cause of just cause of uh, the way the Knicks play. All this talking I've done, I've now realized I'm down eleven to four. Probably gonna be twelve to four. Yep, I have some catching up to do. Uh. Crap. Let's get someone to cut in. There you go, Muscala. Where we cut the lead in half, at least. As we get the final shot. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. I wasn't covering my guy. That's embarrassing. I, <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could get the extra pass off, but they pass so slow in this game. Alright, we're in the final quarter now. I have some catching up to do. I pretty much shared all my thoughts and predictions in this series, so now I gotta focus. Try and work on getting this lead back. 
even though I can't time the th <laughs> the shot meter to save my life. Um. No, I'm not capable of shooting with anyone right now. I, I just gotta keep driving into the paint going forward, even though I think it's too late. Actually, we're on, hit, gonna get under a minute. I'm gonna have to keep shooting my threes. Oh, Grant Williams commits the foul. Uh, I'm expecting to see Grant Williams and maybe Pritchard in this series a little bit more, given the matchups. There's definitely gonna be a lot of big man matchup matchups against Embiid, so it's gonna gonna have to choose between uh. Robert Williams, Grant Williams, and uh, Horford. But all, all three of them are capable of uh, handling Embiid for the most part. <sighs> I'm embarrassing myself again. I lose to Atlanta in my previous video. Now I'm, I'm going to lose against Philly. Hopefully it's not a sign of things to come. And if the Celtics get another 3-1 lead, please don't choke it. Choke it away. Just like I watched the Bruins choke away their 3-1 lead last night on a different note. <laughs> I wasn't really a sports fan in uh, back in 2007 when the Patriots blew their perfect season, so... What I witnessed last night from the Bruins is the worst sports, the worst Boston sports loss I've ever experienced. That <laughs> that was just beyond embarrassing, and <laughs> it's safe to say a lot of those uh, guys from Bergeron to Taylor Hall, a lot of them are either gonna get leave or uh, they're gonna get traded. There's no point in keeping that uh, core together again. You, I don't think the Bruins really can with the cap issues that they're going to have this offseason. But that's hockey. We're, uh, I'm here covering on the Celtics. So I unfortunately lost by a whopping nine points. Guys, thanks so much. Oh, the uh, volume difference as you interview someone, it cranks up the volume. That was weird. But that's going to do it for this video. Uh, unfortunately, I lose again. I'm trying to get better at this game, but it's hard. <laughs> so, with that, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my thoughts and predictions, and hopefully Celtics in five.